Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel and to another reaction video. This time we'll be checking out the official trailer for Fallout. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful sight. Ah, Walton Goggins. A veritable Camelot, the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the world oh, yeah. tomorrow, well, the world company is there. To build a better day after. <laughs> oh. So is that going to be his role in, in it? Only in those vault tech companies. Uh, and they created the vaults and all. Or the mission of the whatever. Should be important to everyone. Yeah, this is the... Um, in character. Walk to the surface one day and restart civilization. Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? Holy shit. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. <laughs> what you're doing is insane. I don't want to set the world. It isn't like the vault out there is big. Yeah, so the world dwellers don't have any, didn't have any co communication with the outside world, so she'd be completely oblivious to everything that goes around. <laughs> That's a creepy robot. I, I remember Michael Emerson from the teaser. You should not be alone. Why did you join the Brotherhood? Ah, oh, Brotherhood of Steel, fuck yeah. People are going to come after you. But yeah, this mutant fellow is pretty damn cool looking. Oh, that's a big hole. Oh, his uh, foot got shot off or torn off or whatever. April 11th. This wasteland looks like chaos, but there's always somebody behind the wheel. Oh, <laughs> that was a, a little wonky looking mutant bear, but whatever. Oh, yeah, I remember that weird creature. Awesome looking design. They're shooting some weird drugs here. Her skill, maybe. It's ready to take on the outside world. All, all, all episodes of it. Okay. So, yeah, there you have it, folks. Fallout. And that honestly looked insane. I remember checking out the um, teaser and that. That had a really weird vibe, but I kind of dig it. And yeah, I have not played any of the Fallout games. I have only recently started checking up on different lore videos, just so I have a feel of what, what to expect uh, when this show finally starts. And yeah, all, of it, all episodes will be available in April 11th, so definitely gonna check this one out. But yeah, he is gonna be, I'm assuming because we only saw, see his character in this kind of promo footage for the old tech company, so his shots are, his scenes or whatever story will revolve around in the past when the Voltec was still making, repair, preparing for the end of the world and whatnot. And then the main story will be after our lead lady uh, leaves, the, uh, leaves her vault where it would seem things went rather well. Because I remember checking out the lore video on the Voltec company, and they were some of the vaults were used as, as experiments, and it was pretty damn gnarly some of the stuff, stuff that was going on. But yeah, and I'm pretty sure I'm not, not uh, as I said, I have not played the games, but 
I got the impression from the lore videos that in many of the Fallout games you play as a boat dweller who go on, go outside and fucks it up, so to speak. There are a lot of cool stuff. I said before, this um, mutant fellow looks, his designs <laughs> pretty damn awesome. I'm not entirely sorry if it's gonna be a good guy or a bad guy. But the air we see Michael Emerson is good. Is I'm assuming shut off. This seems to be the same location where he blew that one guy's chest open. But yeah, that's one hell of a gun. Yeah, that weird mutant bear taking on a rather sort of steel armor. Yeah, it looks a bit weird. I'm not sure if this is a bear, but I'm assuming yeah, kind of looks like. We had the other weird creature. If I remember correctly, the, the, these are fingers in its mouth. In the teaser, you, you had a weird view of it. It was so awesome looking. Here's hoping they succeed in making it another good uh, from video game to live action adaptation. Here's hoping they succeed in doing that. This certainly has a weird vibe, but who, uh, I don't know, I, I have a feeling that's gonna be, you know, you know, be, you know, be the thing that separates this from a lot of other, you know, post-apocalyptic stuff that's out there. It's not exactly, you know, rare genre these days. But yeah, I'm super hyped. But what do you guys think? Write your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you want, and I will see you in another video.